Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a quick and very, very, very easy um, tutorial on a blanket poncho or a blanket cape. I don't know if those are the same, but they kind of look the same to me. And I don't know if you know, but these have been trending. These have been trending and I just think that they're really cute. So I was like, why don't I go ahead and just make one of these? So this is, like I said, super, super easy. The only thing that you really need is the fabric, fleece fabric. If you want to be fancy, you could use um, more expensive uh, type of blanket fabric like wool and make this as easy and, and as cheap as possible. So I will be using um, fleece fabric, which you can get from uh, any fabric store. The one I actually had, this is what I got. Isn't this cute? Anyways, I got this from Walmart and this was the last piece that was there. And I think it measures about a yard, just over a yard, maybe close to a yard and a half. So this is what I'll be using. Now, here's a little secret tip, guys. I got this. This is a throw. Same fleece material. Look at it. I got this for $2.50 in Walmart. $2.50. So how how much cheaper can this be? And this this I know is over just like the over a yard as well. So this doesn't have to be expensive. And they have like, well, I just wanted a, a just a solid color. They have so many options with so many different prints, so many different colors. And it, this doesn't have to be expensive. Like this, like I said, I'm trying to make this like super easy and super cheap. So Walmart. Okay, so the other thing that you need would be scissors to cut your um, fabric. And um, now, if you're not gonna use about a yard of fabric and you want your poncho or your cape to be slightly longer, I suggest that you measure yourself. And so you need a measuring tape for that. And the part that you're gonna be measuring will be from your shoulder to wherever you want your uh, cape to fall. So mine, I know, is gonna fall maybe <clears throat> close to, maybe close to like the mid section of my thigh. And so that kind of measures 32, but um, if you want it longer, please go ahead and, and you can measure it up to your knee. You can measure it up to, I don't know, maybe your foot. It's totally up to you. So once you measure that, double that amount, and that will be the amount of fabric, maybe with a few extra inches. If you're going to hem it, just add a few extra inches. So measure to where, from your shoulder to where you're gonna um, have your poncho sit and then double that amount and add maybe two extra inches. And that will be the total length of your fabric. Once you have that, so you have your scissors, you have your fabric, we will get right into the easy stuff. Fold your fabric in half and lay it on a flat surface. Make sure that your edges are nice and clean. I had a white strip that I needed to cut off, so I did that. Once your edges are nice and clean, go ahead and fold your fabric a second time. You will have three folds, two at the top and one at the edge. Pin or mark the fabric center. And then make sure you also mark one inch, one inch out. This is going to be a guide of where you're going to be cutting your fabric. So from top to bottom and one inch out. Just a note that your markings are only going to be on one, um, one piece of fabric, not on all the folds, just one piece of fabric. 
So the next step is to open up your fabric and move the layer that you've marked out closer. And the next step is we're gonna cut the fabric. So cut out where you've marked out your, um, your center lines or your center pins or whatever you've used to mark out your fabric and just um, cut around that. Once you're done that, we're going to fold um, the fabric back into four and we're just going to add like a round edge. Um, just cut out the edge of the fabric just to give it like a nice round uh, pretty edge. And that's pretty much it. I told you this was going to be easy, wasn't it? So if you have any questions, just um, put those in the comments. And these were some of the looks that I rocked with my DIY poncho. Let me know how you do.